Hi there designers, to this day I've created around three videos about replicating glass effect in Photoshop. And although my last video was viewed plenty of times, people seem to still have more questions. So in effort to close this subject once and for all, I'm stepping out of my 90 second comfort zone, which is called Reels, to teach you the method which will allow you to design your own typographic layouts made of glass using Photoshop and Illustrator only. So hopefully it will help you to answer all outstanding questions about this subject. Now, if you're a 3D smartass who knows how to use Blender or Cinema 4D to generate these kind of effects, before you comment, just ask yourself first, if you want to bake an apple pie, does it matter how you cut the apples? So for this exercise, I will be using information from the Couchella Festival poster. I jump straight into the Illustrator and start laying out my type. Select a different typeface from the library. Scale it up and center it on my canvas. And I started populating my layout with all the names taken from the poster. Yes, I know, it's not how you spell gorillas. Sorry, lads. I just line spacing just to fit more names in. Center the text block and add the secondary info like the date, location, the type of the event. Next I'm adding the main title of the event, Coachella. So I'm picking appropriate font for that. Setting the size. And dividing the name so that it's split across three lines. Adjust letter spacing. And then expand the type. Group it all together and center it on a canvas. Now so you don't lose any of the design, you can save it in your folder. Next I want you to open Photoshop and create a new canvas exactly the same dimensions as the Illustrator file and set resolution to 300. Add background color. Now go back to the Illustrator and grab all the background graphics. Then click Copy or Command C. Go back to the Photoshop and paste it. In the pasting tab, select Smart Object and hit OK. Adjust the size of it, same way as you did in Illustrator. Let's call it Copy. In Layer Style, Color Overlay, set the color of the layer to be white. And then save it as Design PSD. Let's mask this layer and together with the blue background, right click and convert it to Smart Object. Then go back to the Illustrator and bring over Coachella Title to Photoshop. And when you're pasting, do the same thing with Smart Object. Place it in the middle and when you're happy with the placement, double click on the layer in Layers tab. Because it's a Smart Object, it will take you back to the Illustrator where you start adding 3D treatment to it. Here you need to set color to be 37% black and ungroup the letters so that we are treating the middle section first. Then go to 3D and Materials tab and click Inflate. Then in Lighting Options, set the color to be in the middle. Turn up the intensity to 150%. Turn off the ambient light and hit Render. Now in Layers, I want you to bring your mouse pointer over the dot and by holding an option key I want you to drag and drop that dot over another layer that will apply the same 3D effect onto another set of letters. Repeat that again with another set and then save and close. Back in Photoshop the type layer should be updated. I want you to duplicate that layer by holding option and then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. 
I want to increase the smoothness to that layer to 8.5 and hit OK. And then by holding Option key, I want you to create a clip and mask to the layer below. Then double click on that first type layer, go to Bevel and Emboss and turn shadow mode to be linear burn. Choose color to black and set it to the maximum percentage. Bring highlight mode down to zero, size to up to 16 and hit OK. Then create levels adjustment and dial up on the dark levels. Delete the background layer and then save the whole composition as design mask. This will be our mask distortion. Let's create a new solid white color and bring it to the back. Save it again. Next I want you to do is, by holding shift button, I want you to drag our Coachella type over to our original design PSD and name it as Type Dark. Clear all the layer styles and double click on the layer which will bring you into the Illustrator. Select all the type and turn off the render for faster processing. Now select one of the sections and turn color to be 60%. Then go to Object, Extrude, turn off the depth, and then select Around Curve in Bevel Shape. Bring the width to 67 and height to 28. Then go to Materials and dial up on Metallic Setting to about 0.5. In Lighting, you want to move the light to the top right as far as you can. Bring the intensity down to 128%, rotation to 125 and height to 7 and bring the softness down to 10 or 15, a head render. Now before you apply 3D effects to other letters, I want you to change their color first, which is 60. After that, apply the effects as you did before by holding Option key. And then hit Save and close it. Back in Photoshop, you should have a layer updated. Then in Blending Mode, choose Linear Burn and clip the Levels adjustment to it. Adjust the levels so that it becomes a bit brighter. I also mask it and erase some of the mask at the top left. Duplicate that layer and bring it to the top of our wall and rename it to Type Light. Change blending options to screen and clip levels to it. Dial up the properties of the light. Then duplicate that layer again and call it dark. Bring the fill to zero. Double click on the layer and in bevel and emboss, adjust depth to be 600, size to be 8, and choose gloss contour to be heel shape. Set the shadow color to be the same as the background and switch shadow mode to normal. Hit OK. Next I want you to create a new smart object via copy, rename it to glow, bring layer options to 100, clear all the layer styles and double click on the layer. Again, select all the letters and turn off the rendering. Let's work with the middle section. In materials, I want you to bring down roughness to 0.2. In lighting, set the lights at the bottom left, intensity to about 67, rotation to minus 54, height to 57, and softness to zero and switch the color to 100% black and hit render. Next we want to select the other letters, turn their color to black and drag in the effects over to the other layers, then save and close. Back in Photoshop the new effects should take place. Change layer to screen in blending options. Go to layer style, inner glow, and sample color of the background. Bring opacity to 15, choke to zero, and size to about 50. And then select the curve profile and contour options. Hit OK. Then duplicate that layer, rename it to shine, clear all the layer styles, and turn it to screen. In layer style, 
select bevel and emboss, bring depth to 100%, dial up on highlight mode and bring the opacity to zero in shadows and select third profile in glass contour, hit OK. The other thing you need to do is to check next to layer mask hides effects in layer style. Add mask to it and then basically erase some of the areas where the shine is too intense. Then right click on that layer and go to new smart object via copy. Rename it to shine 2. Delete the mask. Uncheck layer mask hide effects and bevel and emboss and layer style. And delete all the layer styles. Then double click on the thumbnail of that layer and in Illustrator turn off the render. We want to bring the color source to the bottom right. Dial up the intensity to 130%, rotation to 42 and height to 12. Then add a new light source, bring it to the opposite side and bring the height to zero. Create a new light source, bring it to the top right and turn off the heights to zero again. Create a new final light source, bring it to the bottom left and bring down the heights bar to zero again and hit render. Apply this effect to the other letters with a technique using Option key the same way you've done before. Hit save and close it. Back in Photoshop, these changes should take an effect. In blending options of this layer, select screen. Next what we're going to do is, is we're going to bring an image of a bright interior into our composition and scale it up to cover all of our letters. Let's rasterize it and desaturate it. Keeping that layer selected, let's make a selection of our type from the layer below and then mask it. Set the layer to screen in blending options and then holding option key, select the mask of this layer and go to filter, liquify. Adjust the brush size, pressure and density upon your liking and start smudging the areas of that image within the letters. Do this for all letters and hit OK when you're happy with it. Let's add adjustment levels and clip it to this layer. And adjust the properties so that it darkens the glass effect. We don't want that to be too shiny. The final but the most important action of this tutorial is to make our typography distort as if it's placed behind the glass. To do that, let's select the layer with all of our information and then holding an option key we want to make a selection of our Couchella typography layer and then go to Filter, Distort, Displace. Set the Displace scale settings to 10 and hit OK. And then select your mask PSD you've created previously and hit Open. And if you've done everything right up to this stage, you should be able to see how your background typography beautifully refracts. You can dial up on this effect by increasing the displacement settings selecting the mask again and hitting OK. That will distort it even more. The more it distorts, the better glass looks, but legibility might suffer. One final touch we're going to add is a little shadow that will allow our typography to stand out a little bit more. For that, we are going to make a duplicate of our type dark and place it to the bottom, just above the copy layer. Bring the fill transparency to zero and select normal in blending options. Remove the mask, and double click on the layer to adjust the drop shadow settings. Make sure the color of the drop shadow is set to be the same as background color and hit OK. You can add some glow effect on top of your glass letters by using shine or sparkle brushes taken from online. I'm using motion blur to soften my glares and sparkles and soft brushes to emphasize the shine. So that's it my friends. Hopefully you managed to follow my tutorial and nail this effect and you won't have any outstanding questions. Please support my channel by following for more content. I like to feel appreciated. Let me know in the comments below what other typographic trick you would like to learn. See you next time.